Now I'll show you how to use the Smart Matcher Tool. The Smart Matcher Tool uses a technique called fuzzy matching. It's terrific for cleaning data and adding missing information. Let's say I have some data about hospitals that came from different systems. Much of it was manually entered resulting in data entry errors. Notice that some of the data is missing, contains spelling errors, or has incorrect name and address information. I also have a second clean data set that lists each hospital with its address information correctly. Simon's Smart Matcher tool can use the clean data as a reference to clean up the messy data. New columns are created with Simon's suggestions, along with a probability column that shows the likelihood of the match being correct. To begin, let's perform the two steps that start the analysis. First, we must define the problem, and that's the clean up messy hospital data. Second, what type of analysis will we perform? Well, it's going to be a fuzzy matching analysis because I want to clean my messy hospital data using a data set that holds the correct information. In this demonstration, I'll create a fuzzy matching model to clean up messy hospital data. I'll use the blueprint called Smart Matcher to demonstrate how the Smart Matcher tool works. I'll go to my apps page and create a Smart Matcher blueprint. Now I'll edit it. I'll explain how this pipe works, but remember, you can also use the documentation as a guide. Let's look at the top data set. The top data set contains messy data. For example, you can see under provider name, there is an entry for Mayo Clinic Hospital and an entry beneath it for Mayo Clinic. If you were to perform another analysis on this data, it would be treated as two different contacts when really they are the same one. Now let's look at the bottom data set. This data set contains the clean hospital data with the correct name and address information. For example, Mayo Clinic Hospital is the full name of the hospital and all its address information is correct. I'll select the Smart Matcher tool to show you how it's configured. The target column contains the column that is common in both the top and the bottom data sets. This is the key column that is used to match the data between the two data sets. The top column refers to the key column in the top data set and the bottom column refers to the key column in the bottom data set. The match section identifies the column that you want Simon to learn how to match. The top column to match identifies the name and address information that you want to correct. The bottom column to match identifies the correct information. If I examine my data in the row viewer, I can see I have some new columns. These are the values in the clean data set that Simon was able to match to. They have a two appended to them. There's one for the key or provider ID, and there's one for each of the matched columns. My last column is the probability column where Simon determines how correct the match is. So for the first row, Simon is 100% sure it's correct in its match. For the fourth row, Simon is almost 100% sure it's correct. Let's discover what the other tools in the blueprint are for. I'll select the rename tool. The rename tool renames the matching columns. I'll scroll down so you can see what was renamed. We're removing the appended to from the name and adding the word matched as a prefix. This makes the column easier to read and understand. If I look at the row viewer, I can see my columns have been renamed with the prefix matched. This makes the column easier to read and understand. Let's look at the select tool. The select tool lets me select the columns I want to include in my output. It's currently configured to select all columns, but I could modify it by deleting what I don't want. I could keep just my new matched columns. Finally, I have an export tool so I can run new data through the pipe. Recall that an export tool is necessary for performing any runs. And we're done. I've cleaned up some hospital data using the Smart Matcher tool. 